Does the video work better with this take or that one? Hmm, I bet if you've been editing video for more than a day, you've had to figure out which shot works best, and sometimes it's just easier to try things out than to overanalyze it. Today I want to introduce to you a feature in DaVinci Resolve called the Take Selector, which is not new, but it's often overlooked, and how it can help you pick the best take for your next video. Check it out. A take selector is essentially this bucket to hold multiple clips and give you the flexibility to change which one you want to use at any point and try things out. A common way you would do this without using a take selector would be to drop a clip on the track above it, and then you can enable, disable it, or turn the track visibility switch on or off. Or if it's something short, like a 30 second commercial, a lot of times what I would do is I'd copy and paste the whole spot to two, three, four spots later down in the timeline, then you get an ABC option to preview in context. But really the advantage to using take selectors is that it can be a lot less to manage and it can actually also ripple your timeline for you if you want it to, there's a button for that. It's very similar to the audition feature that's in Final Cut Pro, which Resolve also supports if you wanna send an XML from Final Cut into Resolve. Anyways, here's how it works. Right click on the clip you wanna have options for in the timeline, choose take selector, drag from the source monitor onto the expanded clip on the timeline. Or if you want, you can actually drag from the bin straight onto that same area. Now the newly dragged clip becomes the pick or the select take. You can even drag more clips onto that stack and the pick is always gonna be the dimmest looking clip which matches the rest of your timeline. Click the one you wanna use and click the X to close the stack. And you can use the slash key, the one that's right next to the shift key to preview it. You can open the stack with the take selector by either double clicking the badge icon or you could also right click and choose take selector to try another clip out. If you'd like, you could slip a clip by just dragging left or right to find the part that you wanna use and sync up with the incoming and outgoing shot. You can also turn on the ripple button here. The ripple button will extend or pull up your timeline based on the newly selected takes duration. If it's a longer clip, it'll push your timeline out to the right and make room and vice versa for shorter clips, it'll tuck it up. But there's a word of caution using the ripple button and that's regarding sync. If you have a complicated timeline already, you've gotta pay attention to your auto track selectors in the track header section of the timeline. Otherwise, you could lose some specially timed out music beats if you're that far along in your editing process. To narrow your choices down and sort of cull it, click the trash can button to remove that clip from the take selector bucket. And to finalize your choice, just right click and choose finalize take. Now you have no choice but to be prepared for when the director comes back and asks the question, do we have any better takes? Just show them. Anyways, I wanna take a quick second to welcome you if you're new to Creative Video Tips. It's all about helping you create videos to make a difference and stand out. I'm Chadwick, and I'd love if you'd subscribe right down below right now. That way you don't miss out on more free DaVinci Resolve tips. Um, another great use for the take selector is if you get VFX shots back or you have iterations of animations. You can just stack those up and refer to those you know, older versions or those plates if necessary, which is super handy. And if you found this video handy at all, please give it a like right now, ask questions, give advice in the comments. And if you wanna learn more about DaVinci Resolve, click on the playlist that I've got on screen right now. And because there's so much more to learn, I'll see you in that next video.